Malicious actors leverage a technique called typo squatting to trick users into believing a falsified domain is legitimate. The fake domain can be used to trick users into visiting malicious sites or trusting an email that they have received. CrowdStrike Falcon Intelligence Recon provides the ability to monitor for when key terms are identified in newly created or changed domains. This can be used to monitor brands or identify when a fraudulent domain is being used. Let's take a look at how CrowdStrike's typo squatting capability works. In the Recon Monitoring Rules, CrowdStrike provides the ability to evaluate key terms within the domains as they are created or modified with the typo squatting topic. After we create a new rule, we can give the rule a name, set the priority within the notifications, and configure the permissions. There are also a few options available to further hone our search for domains. The operator can be configured so that the keywords have to be exactly matched or loosely matched. If the keywords are configured to be exactly matched, that means what it sounds like and the key terms will be matched exactly. If it is configured to be loosely matched, that includes terms with character additions, subtractions, transpositions, and substitutions. It also includes character substitutions in other languages and character sets as well. This will help identify domains that might look similar or identical to the key terms being searched, but is actually a completely different domain. There's also the ability to configure substring matches. When it is enabled, it will only provide results where the term doesn't span across a period within the domain. And here we can enter the word that we want to monitor for. We can also add an AND condition as well as an OR condition to further refine our rule to identify multiple domains. After we save the rule, an email notification can also be sent out to notify you when key terms have been found. Going to our notification screen, we can see all the domains that have matched our rules. I'll filter the results with this widget rule that is configured to exactly match the term widget and has substring matches enabled. With that selected, it shows all the domains that include the term widget. Taking a closer look at one of the identified domains, we can see a quick snapshot of the WHOIS summary. We can also drill into a domain details page. This provides information such as the name servers and the MX records associated with the domain. These can be expanded to show the connected IP addresses. Also available are the detailed parsed WHOIS information, as well as the raw WHOIS data. Okay, now let's go back and take a look at the results from another rule. Here we have a rule where the terms are loosely matched and the substring matches are disabled. These domains look similar to widget, but have letters moved around or added. This can help find domains that are trying to impersonate other domains. For example, here we have a domain that looks like it's related to widgets. When we look at the details, we can see that the puny code stored by the DNS registrar is different than what we would see in a browser. This domain is using a non-ANSI character set, so even though it looks like the characters W-I-D-G-E-T, when we do a search for that string in the browser, we can see that it only finds the rule name and not the domain. CrowdStrike Falcon Intelligence Recon with typo squatting provides a powerful way to identify when a domain is potentially being hijacked and allows you to take actions to protect your brand and your users.